Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today we're gonna check out Backup Guard, which is a WordPress plugin that's a combination of two. It's a backup plugin and it's a security plugin. Now, I will be talking about what I like and dislike about this plugin because there's many things that I feel are missing and you guys should know about it, but the pricing is fantastic. So right now it's a lifetime deal. It starts off at $39, and let me show you what that gets you. So basically, $39 gets you the gold plan, which I don't recommend because it only gives you five sites, plus it's a gold plan. And for $78, you get unlimited sites and it jumps over to the platinum plan. So you get multiple automatic backups and custom cloud destination path. So basically, that's a good plan. Unlimited sites, there's nothing to think about it, right? So it will depend. If this plugin fits your needs, then $78 is the way to go. Now, let's jump over to the dashboard, and basically, you get the two products, like I said. So I purchased it, and you get the Backup Guard Platinum, and you get the Backup uh, secu backup Guard Security Platinum. So I got unlimited sites, and these are two sites that I've installed it on. So I installed it on a shared hosting, just to test um, if it works, if, they, they, if it didn't like break my site temporarily due to resources, and I also installed the second site on a BPS, which is a virtual private service right so that's um way faster and less limitations so i got a powerful vps for that okay so this is my shared hosting test that i've done and for the backup it works great no issues whatsoever with the backup um the only thing i will say is that my site for testing purposes is less than 40 megabytes so i don't have a tight uh, site that i can test it with a really big one right so if it's 200 megabytes two gigabytes I haven't tested it that to see if the resource limit doesn't break temporarily my site. Now I also installed it on a VPS and I've done my test and I will talk about the backup security plugin in a bit which is something I really dislike that happens with it but we'll get to that right now. Um, this is the backup one and this is the shared hosting just a test right here. So I've done some backups right here, work fine, I'll do another one right here if I want. You get several options. You could do a full backup, I can do a custom backup, I can back up just the database, I can back up all the files if I want, and I have the option to remove the themes, the uploads. Um, why would you wanna do that? Let's just say you have a site that's actually, I don't know, in it's like 100 megabytes, but the uploaded files, the media files, are like three gigabytes, four gigabytes. So you might want to remove that folder in case you have having some um, problems, some issues with the backup due to that size, and you could back that up uh, later on just by clicking on that one, right? So just that one after that, just in case you need to do that. And if you wanna upload it to the cloud, you have these options. So you got FTP, Dropbox, Google Drive, S3, and OneDrive. So pCloud is not added yet. Um, they have that on the roadmap, so that means they're gonna be adding it, and they might add iStrive. So I really recommend that if you get this product, jump over to the roadmap, and well, vote for it, right? Vote for the things that you want. So P Cloud integration as a cloud option, people are voting for it. I voted for it because that's what I use mainly. But I have also added the Dropbox right here. And there's also the background mode right there, which is enable background mode to avoid CPU overload. So basically, if you're on a shared hosting and your site is really big, use that, okay? Let me show you how that backup looks. This is my Dropbox, and this is one of the files that I have uploaded. I really recommend that you set up the name for it because then you won't remember which backup belongs to which one. So those would be in the settings right here, the bottom. And this is the backup file name. So set it to what your site is named so you don't forget it later on. So type of settings that you have, well, you got email notification, reloads enabled, delete local backup after upload. Um, this is really important, especially if you don't have a lot of space in your hosting. So for example, let's just say your hosting is, I don't know, one gigabyte. So what you wanna do is tick this on. So once it's uploaded to the cloud, it deletes it from the hosting. So you're not taking up that storage. So really recommended that you tick that on. By default, it's off, so enable that. Alerts before update, so if you have scheduled, you get alerts, show statistics, FTP passive mode, disable ads, um, I haven't seen any ads right here, but they might add later on, but since we're on the premium plan, we should be able to turn that on, right? So in case they add ads later on, it'll remove it. Download via PHP, send users data. This is just to send the users data to them in case they wanna analyze it. Um, I would have it off for security reasons 
you can exclude paths right here, tables excludes backup retention. Uh, these um, numbers right here are meant to, for example, if you're having issues to back up, especially on shared hosting, you might want to change these right here. And the number of rows to back up at once, so on and so forth, right? And the backup destination. Those are the settings. For the clouds, as I mentioned before, we have these available. And also, set the destination folder. That's something I didn't do, and but this is just for testing, right? But do set that because then it'll create a folder. Where's my Dropbox? Okay, so the Dropbox, it says Backup Guard. That's a folder. And then it created a second folder, which is SG Backups. Um, later on, when I install this on five sites, ten sites, um, if they're all stored right here, I'll get mixed up. So do change that for each one of the sites that you're installing this in. So really important. We have the schedule option. So you can create a schedule. If, for example, I, cre I created one here for a yearly. Let me create a schedule right here. So test. We can create this for every hour, day, week, month, or year. Um, one hour is just too much, but it just depends what your site is about. The backup options. So where do you want to do this? It's going to be full, custom, upload to the cloud, or backup mode. Have this option. System info. Well, just what the system has. Services. They offer this as an additional service, so they migrate it for you. Um, also, just to note, they don't they don't have stagging available in this plugin. And basically, that is the backup plug plugin. It works fine. And like I said, I tested this on a small site. It could be different for a bigger site. Now, the security plugin is a bit different. Now, this one hasn't worked for me. Uh, I've tested this on my shared hosting, and I didn't get a bug report right here. The, the scanner report, I can't download it. I can trash it. And I also installed it on a BPS, which is a virtual private service. And this is 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's eight CPU cores. And so that's not the issue. So the resources are not the issue for this. There must be something wrong with this plugin. So I hope they fix it. I think it's not a big deal, but again, got to be checking that now. For the shared hosting one, when I did the scanner, it did slow my site basically to a halt. If I, um, let me do it right here. We'll work on the other side, no problem. So let's just say I'll start this plugin right there. And if I wanted to open up the site on the right, no, it did open it this time. Last time it, well, haven't started. It didn't even load it because it was just taking up the resources to to do it to do the scan right and at the end of the day it didn't actually finish it let me try it again no problems right now okay that could be an issue okay so the scanner doesn't work in in my test it just didn't work plain and simple we have the firewall right here that you can enable Basically, I would take this security plugin as a, I don't know, not a full on security thing. It's just, you know, you got these options available, but you, you have a lot of things missing from a full security plugin that you can get for free somewhere else. So you can block proxy HTTP headers, block proxy ports and so on and so forth. You get these options and you can block IPs by putting them right here and separate them by comma or by row. You got monitoring options, bandwidth monitor. So just to see how it's going on right here. So you got what's happening. So download it. This is how it's monitoring it. I wish they had a graph with some, you know, something more clear, not just rows where it tells me the file name and download it in the size, something that'll give me a more clear view of how the actual bandwidth is functioning, right? You can also monitor the traffic right here. So in this case, I'm the only one in this site because it's a test site. So not much going on. So it gives me what I'm using, the agent. So it's in it's a Mac. It's, I'm using a MacBook and I'm using Chrome. Plus you get the IP, the visited URLs. Hey, why did I disappear? Hmm. Let me refresh that. See, that could be another bug that shouldn't have disappeared. And let's go into settings. Um, settings for the file prefix. Again, you might want to set that to something more clear so you don't see, so remember, once you download it, what the file name is. Login attempts limit. So, for example, if people fail to log in five times, then the security comes in and it won't let them try to log in again. So, five could be a good number. Maybe you want to put it higher or lower. It just depends. And the same system info that you would get on the backup guard. So basically, that's the same. In my perspective, I think the backup guard, the, the backup plugin part of backup guard 
works fine. It's a good plugin for $78. Um, some features missing, like, you know, not, not many clouds available. For example, I want P Cloud. They don't have that available. But if they add it, it makes it a really good option. Plus, unlimited sites for $78, you can't go wrong in that sense. Now, there's no staging on it. There's no, also something I'm missing right here is the cloud. I wish there was a little bit more communication with it. So, for example, we have the folders available right here to change just small things that you have on other plugins that you might want to have it here. But basically, that is the backup guard lifetime deal that's going on right now. Like I said, $78, you can't go wrong with unlimited sites. And if they develop it this further, then it's basically a steal for that price. Now, if you have an alternative that has everything that you need in its lifetime, then basically you can skip this one. But if you don't, good option to have because you need to have a backup plugin in every single site because you know you never know when something might go wrong. Well, that's it for this video. I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.